Shalom, Shalom, Kol Hala, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, that will honor us to the elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, and to speckled bird Israelites that are scattered abroad, that look like the heathen nations, the Israelite foreigners, to Yahweh Shalom, and Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be listening and learning to these videos. And shalom to all you brothers that are out there in the highways and byways, doing the work of the Lord in these latter times, trying to wake up the elect of the nation of Israel. Because two thirds of our people will be destroyed. Um, and this man find the name Yahweh, which Yahweh is the name of the true name of who the word really calls God or the Father or the Almighty or um, any other false names. And that's calling on Yahweh Shai, <clears throat> which is the true name. Of who the world, you know, ignorantly calls that J word, you know, um, which is not the name of the Messiah, you know. They only have the Messiah has one name and the Father has one name. Um, and I also want to say that this video is for the Israelites, the elect only, you know, because um, that's who will receive the Holy Spirit in these latter times. And um, the Israelites today are who you call black people, Hispanic, Native American, Cuban, Puerto Rican. Um, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemala, the Panamanians, those are Israelites today, always have been and always will be. And I'm coming back at y'all with this video on uh, end time headlines. I pretty much, you know, I always do videos from here. You know, um, you know, um, it's ran by, I, I say it's, you know, a Christian or whatever, because they, they always post, you know, things concerning prophecy. But, you know, most, and most of the stuff, you know, like, you know, when they bring out scriptures, it'd be off because they don't you know that they're Christians. It's obvious, you know, if you follow this page or, you know, about this, you would know, you know, brothers in the faith. Um, But, you know, as far as what they post, as far as news wise, a late breaking things that's happening, it's accurate. But just the scriptures they bring out, they don't have the understanding of. But, you know, it says um World Economic Forum looks to normalize and plantable tracking CHIPSs, you know, you know, which is the MOTB. You know, which it's not sin or philosophy or I've heard um, elders say uh, camps were saying it was uh, sleeping with Edomite women or white women or something like that. Man, I don't know where they got that from. But um, um, let me get this right here in the book of Isaiah. Right. Because our elders and apostles have been speaking about this for years, you know, 30, 40 plus years. The elders of Great Millstone. They're the only cat, matter of fact, that speaks on the MOTB correctly. You know, it says, Behold, the former things are come to pass. Right, you know, all the captivities we went in, you know, us waking up in this captivity, us going to slavery, all the curses. Right? Um, things concerning our Lord. It says, And new things do I declare, right, which is the MOTB. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them, right before these prophecies come to pass, you know, in real time, the Lord tells us of them, you know, through his prophets, through his men, you know, and particularly the men of Great Millstone, you know, because no other camp is speaking on the MOTB correctly, you know. Um, they say it's other things like I just mentioned, sin, philosophy, or so-called white women, you know. It's clearly not what that is, man. It's, it's so obvious and plain now, you know. I mean, if you can't see that the MOTB is what what this is, you know, that I have on the screen, hey, you either took that bag or the Lord blinded you, you know. I mean, there's really no in between. It's, it's clear at this point, you know. It's too late, you know, in the game to, to not be speaking on this or warning the sheep. This is one of the last major prophecies that have to come to pass, you know, before our Lord returns, you know. Same thing with uh, World War Three. You know, and when things, when it, when it pops off, um, you know, hey, the days are going to go by fast for the elect, you know, and the elect will not take this, you know, the elect will not take this. You know, I, and I believe, you know, that the elect, you know, they ain't going to take them jabs, man, you know, I, I don't believe, you know, um, um, you know, um, if you uh take one of them uh, jabs, man, the Lord, you know, and it's not the MOTB. I'm talking about them jabs before the MOTB, you know, everything concerning the uh, C-19. You know, I could be wrong. Brothers can correct me. Um, you know, I, and I know it's not the MOTB, but I, I'm speaking on the, um, the jabs before the MOTB comes out, like the 
the jabs that they were all pushing, you know, for the past two years. You know, I don't think the, you know, the elect would take that. You know, even the jabs, you know, and for sure not the able to be that CHIP right here in the hand, you know. But um, I'm going to get this some revelations real, real quick because it's clear and evident, man, you know. This is what they want to do. They want to, you know, basically tag you. You know, they want to, this is how they're going to brand you, you know. Um, this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. It says, and he calls it all, both small and great, right? You know, it doesn't matter your position or your status. You're going to have to take this thing or whatever race you are, whatever country you're in. It says rich and poor, right? Free and bond. So whether you, uh, you you know, you out, out there in the free world or whether you locked up to receive a karagma in their right hand or on their forehead. And that was in the hand, wasn't it? You know, it looks like a left hand, but either way it was in the hand. You know, it says, And that no man might buy or sell, save that he had, meaning except he had that karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right? And if um any brother, you know, is paying attention, you would know that Right now, the whole world is undergoing a process of um, basically transitioning to a new currency. You know, it's the CBDCs. You know, um, the UK is doing it. China's already done it, I believe. Canada said that they was going to um, basically bring it out in October. You know, they, they ain't going to be using no more dollars. Um, I think Sri Lanka did it because they were having a lot of protests and uproars. Um, and over there in Europe, they're doing it in the UK, Germany, and even in uh, Africa, you know. So this is a global thing, you know, and um, what else was happening? Um, and over in America, Babylon the Great, which is spiritual Egypt also, they were talking about, um, I did a video on it. They were talking about doing away with the dollar, you know, physical cash in hand by December 13th of this year, you know? So why is every country on earth doing this? You know, why? You know, because it's prophecy. You know, same thing um, with the whole world, basically, you know, every everywhere in every country, you know, went on lockdown. It was all a plan. That was the cover up for what, that was a, another cover up for what they really wanted to do. It was a disguise. You know, it was a disguise for what they really wanted to do. You know. And uh, if that's not what this is, if that's not the, if this is not the MOTB, you know, then a. Hey, it, it is though, you know. It don't make sense for it to be anything else. It's, it's so clear and evident at this point, man. Um, let me try to find a scripture. Plan to the holy. Cause I mean, how how else do you explain? How else do you explain the whole world? You know, basically, um, doing that. You know, doing a doing a digital currency. How do you explain that? You know. A big something real big like that and uh life changing is not gonna be in the scriptures, you know? In these latter times that we're living in. Um is it in Daniel? You know, it's, of course that prophecy is in the scriptures. Um it's a lot. I'm trying to find the scripture real real quick. This is Sirach chapter 39 and verse 24. It says, As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. You see? So yeah, if you don't, if you ain't teaching it that this is the MOTB by now, man, and you know, they about to come out, you know, with this soon. Hey, yeah, you know, you spiritually spiritually blind, you know, in some areas. You know? It's evident. You know? It ain't anything else. You know, and uh I remember when I first woke up, I wasn't, you know, watching GMS, you know. Um, I didn't even know about them, you know. Um, and that also proves, like, you know, um, another uh, reason. The Lord don't want everybody to get this truth. Like, And I'm not saying that the Lord, did, he didn't want me to, you know, um, watch GMS at the time. I'm, I'm going to say that, but, you know, the scriptures say the, the truth was like a um, treasure that's hidden in the field, right? And yeah, you have all these different Israelite camps, but not all of them have the, the truth, the 100% of the truth. You know? Not all of them have that. You know? A lot of them, they tell you that the Israel, you know, they tell you that the Lord is for you, you know, He's, he's only going to save you, you know, the Lord died for you, and all, all this good stuff, but there's a lot of things that they go off on, you know? 
You're going to be held accountable for that. You got to, you can't be going off on scriptures, man. You can't be doing that. The spirit is with you. Hey, you ain't going to be going off like that, you know, on the scriptures as far as breaking them down. You know, you might have not have, have you might not have the understanding at first or certain things, but if the Lord is dealing with you and you're a part of the elect, the Lord is going, he's going to guide you in the way that you need to go and guide you to the men of the Lord of GMS. You know, because um, I don't remember ever, you know, when I was watching different uh, I wasn't watching a whole bunch of camps. I was never doing that. But when I watched other camps, um, they weren't speaking on the MOTB. I never heard them speak about that. Ever. You know? I, I used to watch uh, Watchmen for Israel. You know, I used to... Uh, I never watched um, HOI. I never watched... I never could even watch IUIC video or ISPK. Um, I did watch One Body in Yahweh Shot, but that's... It's like four four years ago, four or five years ago, when I first came into the truth. Um, you know, I was watching them. Um, but uh, I, they, I knew, I, I, for some reason, you know, now I know I know why, but I knew even then, like, it, the way they was teaching was off. Like, you know, they used to go door to door. And I'm like, no, I, I know what, nobody want to be bothered at their house, you know? That's what they do. They go door to door. But, you know, the scriptures say, go not from house to house, you know? And that's what they was doing, but I never heard them speak about the MOTB. And one thing that GMS does is they speak on the elect, you know, because that's what this is truth is all about. They they say the word elect a lot of times, you know. These other camps don't really do that, and they definitely don't speak on the MOTB, you know. Um, I'm gonna get this in Second uh, Corinthians real quick, chapter two. It says, uh, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. You know, and I brought that out because, you know, we know what the ultimate plan is. They're going to make it sound good and, you know, make it appealing to you. Oh, you know, you should do this because of that. You know, this is just the way the world is. You know, if you don't if you don't want what we're offering, you know, hey, take it or leave it, you know. And that's when you have to trust in the Lord. And if you trust in anything else but the Lord, hey, you are not idolater, you know. This is that's like the ultimate idolatry, basically, if you take that CHIP, because you're letting them basically control every aspect of your life. And the Lord is, the Lord is in control of that, not Esau, Edom. When you take that, you basically say that they're your God. You don't have to physically say out of your mouth, oh, they're my God, or they're who I listen to. You know, I believe in what they say. You don't have to say that. You do it by your actions, right? This is Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. It says, thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Right? You you basically making them your guide, basically. You know? That's like the new golden calf, you know? Because when that thing comes out, I, I believe that it's going to come come out when there's no food because my you know, my brothers have had dreams about it, you know? And it was during that time to where, you know, you had to pick and choose whether or not you was going to eat or not. And, you know, if you didn't take it, you wasn't going to eat. It's going to happen during that time. That's why it's called the hour of temptation, you know? Um, this is, um, let me get that real quick in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. And and the elders and the apostles speak, spoke on this, you know, the hour of temptation. I never heard no, can't really speak about this, you know, outside the GMS. I, I haven't, you know. Maybe they have and I missed it, but I really don't remember them speaking on the hour of temptation. Um, this is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall also which shall come upon all the whole world to try them to dwell upon the earth. You see, and when has this ever happened? When has the whole earth been tested? You know, at once. You know? When that, that has never happened. You know, so it has to be a future prophecy, a thing that's gonna come. You know, something that's um, you know, in uh, days ahead. It, it's, it's not something that happened in the past. You know, you look at all the other prophecies that took place, it didn't happen, you know. It didn't happen in the past, you know, and everybody's going to be tested, you know, but the Lord's only dealing with the Israelites anyway, and he's only dealing with the elect, but that's the time that it's talking about when that, when that MOTB hits, all hell breaks loose, shake and shovel happens, and you got to decide whether or not you're going to serve Esau and take, take his um, incision, take his, take his um, branding, or you're going to take the Lord's branding, you know, well, you can't choose whether or not you take the Lord's branding, it's a spiritual mark. You know, it's a spiritual thing, you know, but theirs is physical, you know, and uh, 
Hey, the elect, man, they're going to be good in that time, man. You know? You know, get hip to the chip. You know, that's what they're going to, that's what they're going to basically do. You know, make you get hip to it. Uh, Lord willing, he keeps me, you know, and, uh, you know, all the other brothers in Great Millstone, you know, just actively teaching, you know, they haven't dropped the plow, you know, all the way into that time, even, even past that, you know, till you how a shot come back. Um, because that's going to be a heavy time, man, and, you know, this is here, man, you know, you are the cast, man, y'all need to, y'all need to repent, man, stop being prideful, and y'all need to bring this prophecy out and admit y'all was wrong, you know, but, um, I'm going to close out, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and double honor to the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, to y'all say shalom. I'm gonna say wild, blah blah blah.